Starting with the oaks, this race has a short field, so ground loss should not be a major factor, and post position should not matter much. Swiss Skydiver will be making her 10th start in nine months in the Oaks. She got down to a big one at Oak Lawn, backed up some, then cycled back to a good one last time. There is a good chance she could have run faster that day, but that was then, this is now. And she doesn't get to use those lengths this time. It was still a big effort, and she's coming back in only three weeks after a lot of racing. We expect a regression. Tempers Rising has done a lot of developing already, and she's still not that fast. Dallas Stewart has pulled off some shockers, and this filly hitting the board would be another one. Donna Veloce was the best of these last year by quite a bit, before m missing most of this year. She is one of the faster fillies just off that two-year-old form, and should be stronger and better as a three-year-old. Since she's already run big when fresh, she's a player here. Speech developed gradually, then exploded last time with a figure that makes her second fastest going in. She's more likely to bounce than not, but she won't be that short a price, so she's usable. Gammon ran well in her first two, then moved into superstar territory in the acorn and ran almost as well last time. Normally, we would be looking to bet against a short price favorite coming off two humongous efforts. But this is Baffert we're talking about, and we don't have to beat her to make money here. Bayernis broke through last time, and with a couple of months rest, could go forward again. But she starts out a lot slower than several, so at best, that new top would only get her third or fourth. She Dares the Devil got a lot better when Cox got her, which happens a lot. Her last two are probably good enough to get into the exotics, and with plenty of rest, she's likely to run that well again. Hopeful growth broke through with a new top last time, but pairing that won't do it, and a bounce is more likely. Dream Marie is heavily raced, and gives no indication she's ready to make the jump she would need. Here's the bottom line in the Oaks. When you think that a horse that will be on a lot of tickets might run poorly, the right approach is usually exotics, and that is the case here. The key to playing the Oaks is taking a position against Swiss Skydiver. If she bounces, she could bounce out of the exotics entirely. Gammon is obviously the most likely winner, and Donna Veloce, Speech, and She Dares the Devil are the others we would use. If there's a scratch or you want to use another one underneath, Bayerness is worth considering. 